Hey everybody, my name is Kit and welcome back from the video of Mythic Ocean. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Right back, right uh, where we last left it off. We're gonna continue to talk to uh, Aledia. We have some more stuff to ask her. And after we're done asking her about the questions, we got multiple things to do. Uh, apparently we can talk to the snake now, which I, I'm gonna head out towards there afterwards. And uh, we're also gonna talk to her, uh, continue to talk to her, and afterwards, we're gonna teleport to the brand new teleportation place that uh, she gave us. So uh, let's do it. Let's just talk to her really quick. All right, so uh, the kelp forest is in trouble. I was wondering if I could get your help exactly because uh, Lutra is eating up everything. He's growing fast, but he's literally e eating up everything in the kelp forest. Not sure if he's gonna keep his word or not or whether he's gonna stop eventually or not. So we're gonna need Lilia's help right here. Maybe your science, she's figured out something to to help out Lutra for that, for that hunger, boys. Oh, what kind of trouble? Well, Lutra left the moss cavern for the forest to find more food, and it's eating a huge amounts of kelp. Tried to get it to stop, but it's too hungry to listen. Goodness, that doesn't sound like a potential crisis. Uh, that does sound like a potential crisis. Has Lutra also grown bigger by any chance? Yeah, he, uh, me, both me and Amara noticed it. He was larger than he used to be. Just as I thought, I bet it's getting ready to start its metamorphosis. My studies of Luta, uh, Lutra suggests that this world happened sooner, uh, would happen sooner or later. It's eating all its this food to fuel the amazing transformation that will soon take place. Fascinating, but is there any way we can stop it from devour devouring the whole forest? Right, right. Certainly we don't want that to happen. But it seems to me that Lutra was meant to feed on something else once it was done with the ferns. Perhaps if we, if we could give it something more nutritious, it wouldn't have to eat so much. Uh, have you found anything on the ocean that might feed Lutra better then? Well, come to think, again, uh, to think of it, I did once find a strange plant on the mid-seas with a large edible fruit. These fruits were unusually nutrient dense. The problem is, I'm not sure uh, such a plant would contain the right nutrients for L Lutra. Okay, well, we can try. However, I might be able to create a crossbreed that combines the best qualities of the ferns and industrial fruits. Ideally, a small number of these hybridized plants would sustain Lutra for the rest of its friend uh, feeding frenzy. Alright, let's do that then. Unfortunately, I can't have these new plants ready immediately. I have machines that can speed up the growth process, but it's still going to take some time. If Lutra is still eating up uh, there, their forest might be in serious danger. I can only think of one way to guarantee the forest safety, and that's to use the paralyzer component of my scanning device to prevent Lutra from moving until the plants are ready. Uh, after a discussion about the fear Lutra felt last time I did this, I'm reluctant to do it again. But I'm worried for the well-being of the forest otherwise. What do you think we should do? I don't want to do either, but it sounds like using Parasites on only shores. I'd rather you didn't use the Parasites on Lutra, Alidia. I don't think it's worth it. That's the problem, though. We have the plants. We have a way of helping him out, but we gotta paralyze him, and he's not gonna like that. He's, that, he's not gonna like that whatsoever. But we're risking all the kelp in the forest and the beautiful ecosystem thriving there. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure. We know Lutra is terrified by the paralyzer fix. It's not right to do it. Yeah, it's just not right. Okay, then I won't. Hopefully everything will turn out right. The plants will be delivered to the kelp forest as soon as they're ready. Uh, thanks so much. Alright, there we go. No problem, my friend. I care about Lutra. I want it to do well. I don't know how it ended up in the ocean, but I don't think it chose to be here. So I'm happy to, ma to help make our world more habitable for him. Shall we take a talk about something else? Okay. All right, so we're done here. So she's gonna work on the plants. She's gonna be working on the plants. In the meantime, um, I guess we can go back here and talk about the whole thing situation. Uh, let's let's head back to the snake for now, though. I did say I wanted to go back to the snake, so we're gonna head back to him and uh, to uh, Hillel. And see uh, what's up with him. Because he, uh, does he have anything with us or anything worth sharing? Yeah, that happens every, every time. Don't worry, she won't actually get to the bottom of it. She never does. Well, that's pretty tragic. Are you sure there's uh, no chance she could uh, find a way out? 
I mean, I've never seen it happen, which makes it very likely that it's impossible. I don't know for sure, buddy, but I feel like certain outcomes in this place are just off limits. They should be possible, but someone made it so it wouldn't, they wouldn't be. That's an eerie thought. Yeah, just a hunch. I'll probably never f uh, know if that's true or not. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I think that's all for now. Let's talk about the crown. Can uh, you make me the crown? I've got eight. I need ten. Okay, good. I don't want to have anything else. I already know I'm probably going to either end up giving the uh, Alilia or Lutra the, the crown, boys. It's either one of these two so far that I'm willing to give a crown to. Nobody else, really. Uh, the rest, uh, I don't really care too much. All right, so I don't see anything. I don't see another portal available over here so far. Hmm, this might have been where we came from the, uh, from the start. Yeah, I think it was. All right, so there's nothing here. I guess uh, we're just gonna go ahead and explore this uh, this place now. I'm kind of intrigued. I, I want to explore it. Our brand new G region, boys. We're in the deep seas now. We are in the deep seas. Can actually scan for where to go. It's telling me where to go. Uh, no pages available. No fish is available. I don't know what we're gonna find down here. Kind of scared. I hope it's nothing bad. I hope it's not a goddamn Kraken or a giant sea monster, boys. I am scared, but uh, let's try and find out what's, the, what's hiding down there. It is a Kraken. Of course. At last, you have found me again. I'll, oh, as always, you do not remember who I am. Although, allow me to remind you. I am Noxus. And I'm glad you've returned. There is much to discuss. I came here looking for an energy source, actually. Yes, I know. I myself am the energy source Elidia Six. The radiation and charged debris she analyzed were scattered by my awakening. I uh, see, that's awkward. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. Perhaps she does not realize what I am, after all. But her research does not worry me. It is highly unlikely she will find a way to harness my power. How do you know me? Uh, why don't I do why don't I remember you? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. My meditations uh, are, are, have allowed me to recover memories I once thought were lost. But most of them remain broken and fragmented. For reasons I do not, uh, do not comprehend. I need more time and perhaps more resources to repair the rest. Well, how do you know me? We have met before. Countless times. I do not remember most of these encounters. You do not recall any. This is how it happens each and every time. Well then, now that we are reacquainted, I expect uh, you wish to return to Elidia. You will have much to report. But in the future, there may be a way you can assist me in recovering my memories. I will notify you when I've reached my conclusion. All right, keep an, I keep an eye out, I guess. Good, we shall speak again soon. That monster is huge. That is literally the Kraken, boys. I told you I knew it was gonna be the Kraken. Look at that shit. That guy huge, I can't, I can't even see him. Look at that, I can't, I can barely see him. I can see his tentacles. Look at that. I knew something dark and deep uh, was gonna be in the deep, a uh, big type of monster was gonna be in the deep seas and stuff. Can I talk to you? What would you like to discuss? Okay, I got nothing to tell him. He's actually interfering with my... He's got too much energy. He's interfering with my uh, technology. Look at that. Okay, I gotta go back. I gotta head back to Olivia. I gotta tell her about this. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Oh, where did it need me? Oh, that's not good. Too much energy from this source, boys. From, from that unknown source. And now I'm floating above the sea. What is this? Oh, I can interact with this. Where am I? Six fishes available. So six interactions available. I don't know where I am. Hmm. I don't know where I am, boys. This is not good. Okay, so I'm going to interact with this. I can interact with this guy right here. I don't know who this guy is. Whoa, that's kind of trippy. That's kind of trippy as hell, boys. That's, that's, uh, that's interesting. Swivet? Huh? Who are you? 
Does stuff change around here after all? I came from outside this place. I don't know how I got here. There's an outside? Do you think maybe I came from there too? I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm having trouble putting my thoughts together. It just feels like everything's falling apart, you know? Yeah, I can feel it too. Let's get to the middle of this place. It's safer there. I got no idea where you're talking about. You go. I'll just stay here for now. How about you follow me? Uh, how about following me bad? Do you think you could manage if I showed you the way? Exactly. Yeah, maybe. Let's give it a shot. I'll do my best to keep up. Okay, let me know where uh, if I'm going too fast. Okay, so he's gonna follow me around. All right, what do you know? So this guy's gonna follow me around, and I I need to talk to this guy as well. Okay, so we need to go to the middle, right? Where is he at? Is he following me? I don't know if he's following me or whatnot, but uh, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna talk to him really quick. Hey, sorry to see you here. N uh, not cause I don't like company. I'm actually happy to meet you, but. Now you're stuck here, just like the rest of us. So I feel very sad for you. What do you mean I'm stuck here? I'm not stuck anywhere, am I? Oh, that's not good. Okay. Let me let me just go straight uh, right here, boys. There's somebody I need to talk to right here. Hold on. Let me uh, go right there. Go on the opposite side, which is so trippy. Freaky as hell. Right, there's somebody I need to talk to right here on top of these uh, rocks where's he at all the way down uh, up here where's he at man uh, is he really okay there we go hold on what the hell i'm going through the rocks right here okay there we go now i'm fair i'm good i think i broke the game for a little bit boys holy shit watch out though uh, what about you uh, hello up there or down there as the case may be i feel like i used to know which direction we wish but not anymore. It's not safe out here. You should go closer to the middle of this place where things are more stable. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm not even sure how I got on this rock on the first place. Alright, fine. I'll carry you if I have to. Sorry for being such a burden. But I really appreciate that. No worries. Let's go then. Okay, can't remember last time I was on the lawn. Okay. So I carried him. I made it a, a true him towards the middle. Got three more people we need to interact with. I don't know what this place is. Kind of very strange. I was not expecting this, boys. It's coming out of the left field a little bit. Whoa! Never mind. No, Not used to seeing anyone new here. But we do lose folks sometimes. If you see anyone who look lo uh, looks lost, tell them to come back here. If it's not good to be near the edge of this place too long. I'll keep an eye out for them. Okay, so apparently you can't stay near the hedges. Something bad happens if you do that or something. You lose your mind. What about you? Uh, going for Yaka. What? Okay, I don't know what you're saying, buddy. Sorry about that. I'm gonna skip that forward. What about the dolphin? Don't tell me that's the dolphin from before. Warm sunshine. Green growing things. Oh. Well, hi. I've never seen you before. I'll teach you something I learned from being here a long time. If you don't stop thinking about your favorite memories, you won't lose them. Or at least not as fast. But anyway, good luck, friend. Okay. Thanks for the info, I guess. I got the teleporter, so I can always come back if I want to. What happens if I go down the middle, though? Oh, you just go the opposite side. Okay. You just simply go on the opposite side. Interesting. I don't know what this place is. But uh, I gotta head out to the snake. I gotta head out to the snake right now. I wanted to talk to her, but I need to enter. Uh, I need to talk to the snake uh, to Ill about this shit. I don't know what just happened right there. Where am I gonna teleport now? Oh, I'm back to him. Yo, that was kind of creepy, my guy. I don't know what just happened. I gotta teleport it to a random place. Uh, Gnosis seems surprisingly aware of what's going on, buddy. Yep, Gnosis knows a lot. It's kind of derfing, but it's hard to get a read on him, right? They're mysterious. They don't let much uh, on much about what they know or, or how they know it. I listen close to whatever Gnosis has to say. They chose the info, choose the information they share real carefully. They're probably uh, there's probably a reason for that. I can talk to him about the fact that I just got transported to another dimension. 
Really? You would think we'd have to... We would want to talk about that. Alright, let's go back to Alidia for good, though. We definitely have something to tell her now. Alright, Alidia, I gotta talk to you about this whole situation. You're back! I'm glad you returned safely. How did it go? Well, I made some unexpected discoveries, to say the least. Just what I like to hear. Please tell me everything. Well, first things first, the energy source you've been after is called Noxus. We've talked for a while. You what? I had considered that the energy source might be alive, but... It's intelligent? You were able to speak with it? Yes, and it seems like Noxus isn't even aware you've been studying at them. My word. This is a bit on the w overwhelming. I understand, but there's something else I, uh, I saw when I asked... Uh, 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 when I want to ask you about exactly. Oh, please go on. When I tried to leave the depths, the teleporter malfunctioned somehow. It took me to a strange, distorted place I've never seen before. I see. What did you find there? There were fish and other creatures. It seemed they've been stuck there for a long time, so weren't very coherent. Uh, coherent. That sounds terrible and frightening. How did you get back? Well, the teleporter started working again after I'd been uh, there for a bit. I'm not sure what I fixed. Uh, uh, what fixed it? Very strange. Perhaps the teleporter sensor data will provide me with cl more clues. I'll investigate when I have time. All right. So Kesty and El told me that he saw you experimenting on a fish once and it disappeared. Could that be related somehow? Are you trying to accuse me of something here? Do you really think I'd send a, cre send a creature to a place like that in intentionally? I'm sorry, perhaps I took your words the wrong way. I'm sorry too. Look, I don't mean to accuse you. Just want to get to the bottom of this. I know, so do I. Alright, let me explain. What Kitri and Esti saw, Estri saw was one of my early experiments in teleportation. The purpose of this test was to find a safe way out of the ocean, which didn't work out, of course. I must stress that all my participants were willing, and I made sure they understood the risks. For instance, I theorized that teleport subject could end up stuck somewhere. Okay, so that's what happened. That's what happened. They got stuck because the teleportation didn't work properly. An unknown place outside the normal boundaries of the ocean. A breach in the fabric of reality, if you will. But it was only a theory, and not a likely one. At any rate, because of these risks, it was hard to find uh, willing subjects. But there will always be, uh, be those adventurous enough to brave the unknown. Just as you and I do. But didn't you check up on the participants afterwards? I mean, you must have had noticed something uh, strange happening. I did. In almost every case, I confirmed the subject had been teleported somewhere else, uh, cell, safe. But yes, there were a few whom I've never found. found. I suppose the poor souls you met in the breach were the missing ones. It is horrible to me uh, to uh, to meet such a fate, but we're all trapped in this ocean for anyway. That research had to be done, and their safety was never guaranteed. They they knew the risks. Like, looks like there's not much we there's not much we can do. Well, there must be a way to help them. I don't know as though as there. Uh, I don't know as though as there, uh, there is. I have no idea how to uh, replicate the teleport and malfunction, uh, malfunction that sent you to the breach. I don't even know what caused it. Could it be that your, uh, pro your proximity to the energy source, the Noxus, might have overloaded the teleporter somehow? I think that's what happened as well. Yeah, I do think that's what happened, boys. Maybe it's, po uh, it's possible. Would you mind visiting the depths again? If Noxus was the cause, maybe they'll have some idea how to send you back. It's risky, yes, but you made the round trip once, so I think your chances of doing so a second time are good. I will remain here at the lab so I can attempt to find you with my instruments if anything goes wrong. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Why not? I can't thank you enough, my friend. Let me know what happens as soon as you get back. Okay, so we gotta head back to the depths. Uh, first off... I want to check up on uh, on Omar, boys. That's the first thing I want to do is check up on Omar first. All right, let's see. Did he grow any further? Did he stop eating? 
Uh, not too sure if they st he stopped eating. I don't. I, I can't sense him in, in here anymore. Let's see if it happened or not. Oh, hey, friend. A lot sure has happened since you were here last. Well, tell me everything then. Well, I don't know if you had a look around the forest yet, but it's not good. We lost the kelp that Lutra hate when it first got here, but so many other areas. Plus so many other areas. We don't even have half the kelp we used to anymore. Once you left, I was just laying low trying to make sure Lutra didn't notice me. After a little while, Elidia showed up. She brought a bunch of plants with her. Stuff I've never seen anywhere uh, else before. Lutra barely touched them though. I'm sure he was pretty uh, full already from all the kelp he, held, uh, he ate. Once it was done, he headed back to the moss cavern like nothing ever happened. Well, since then I've been busy making the rounds in the forest. Some folks are pretty rattled, but everyone seems to be okay. Still, in the end, I'm not too happy with how this all turned out. We lost so much kelp, and I don't know if the forest will ever be the same again. Feeling pretty lousy about it, if I'm honest. Well, I'm sorry, Amar. I wish I could have done more for the forest. I could have done more. Did I want to, though? I didn't. I didn't want to do that to Lutra. I did not want to uh, to do a bad thing to Lutra, just so the forest could survive. Plus, we're, me and Elidia are trying right now to find a way to get outside of this world anyways. So it goes, I guess. Well, tell me more about the kelp forest. I want to ask you about something else. Nope. All right, so we're good. We're good, we're done with her, uh, or if uh, Amar right now. So I guess, my goodness guess is, we could head back to Lutra, uh, check up on him as well. I kind of want to talk to the children really quick, maybe, because it says they've got something going on, so uh, I can talk to her, uh, to them, why not? Let's go check up on them really quick. Do they have anything that, uh... oh, three out of five pages. There's two brand new pages available uh, over here, I guess. Interesting. I gotta try and find them, though. Yeah, I gotta try and find these pages, uh, then. If they're here somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna try and talk to the two kids. I don't know where they are, uh, are at, though. Where are the two kids at? Oh, they're all the way over there. Okay, so I see them boys. They're hiding over there. There's also somebody else hiding. Oh, that's just the, the guy that's... Uh, always uh is doing his thing i guess they're, they're they're looking again look at that looking through their portal thingy oh new friend hey uh we've we weren't expecting you sorry i can't leave you two alone if you want now nah, that's okay we actually kind of don't want to uh, don't want to do uh what do you mean it's uh, is something wrong so you know this glowing portal thing behind us well i mean it's not really a portal but you saw it before, we just didn't want to talk about it back then. Yeah, sorry about that. That's okay, so what's, uh, uh, what's the glowing thing if it's not a portal? The glowing thing comes from the crystal we have. We use our powers to activate it. Light comes, out, light comes out of the crystal and it shows us pictures of where we used to live. The only thing we have left from our old home. And now it doesn't work anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you have any idea how it broke? Now nah, we're just using it a little while ago and it made this huge crackling noise. Then it went all fuzzy like it's uh, like it is now, see? It just happened for no reason. So we were do we were wondering, could you maybe help us fix it? But I wouldn't know how to repair it, but I could see if anyone else in the ocean wants to help. Well, obviously Lady Africa can do it for you guys. Really? I mean, thank you, new friend. Well, we'd find someone to fix it ourselves, but we don't really trust anyone as much as you do. So yeah, thanks. Here's a crystal. I hope someone out there can figure out what happened. Just be careful with it, or okay? Don't worry, I'll go I'll take good care of it, and I'll let you know if I find anyone who can fix it. Okay, thanks again. Okay, so... Got a brand new uh, search. Yes, obviously they're telling me to go to Alilia. They all the game already knows. The game already knows this is where I should be uh, going if I want to. Uh, if I want to be able to um, to repair these stuff, uh, their things. So, okay, I got nothing else I can get there. So I'm guessing I actually want to check up on Neutra before going to the depths, boys. I want to check up on him. 
Especially since you already know I see a portal right here. I see a portal, boys, and there's multiple portals. This is him right there. Look at him. This is Lutra. He's, he's huge now. There's actually a multiple... Yeah, there's a couple of new pe persons I can t interact with. And there's a portal behind him. I need to interact with that portal. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go through that portal right now before interacting with him. There's the document right here. Era 2, Section 2, Peace and Prosperity. War is a thing of the past now. Everyone's basic needs are always met. And even minor sickness is very rare. Mortals have little privacy, however. And the most trivial crime can ruin a person's life. But they are safe. They live long, healthy lives. The creator has brought about the world they wished for. Okay. Well, there we go, boys. We're gonna head back. We got 9 out of 10 uh, documents. Which is uh, com really great. Before I get, I talk to Lutra. I want to see if anything else, like uh, if there's anything I, I like. I want to interact with everybody else first, and also I want to see if I can find the other portal, uh, another portal right here. That would be great. So yeah, there these, there's these guys again. No more starlight, only dark night. Okay, what about you? The stars have all burned out. I've never seen it that bit before. I miss them so much. I'm sorry, maybe they'll play back someday. They, I can't interact with these. These are not new, really. Oh, this one is new. This is a new one right there. It's like a, a, a like a, some sort of crab or slash um, a shrimp and stuff. Someone there? Sorry, can't see you. Uh, can't see you too well. Food's been so scarce lately. I need someone to help me catch some grub. I'd be willing to share them a uh, borrow on exchange if they want. But maybe you could find a good candidate for me, huh? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I could possibly find for you. Wait, there's somebody here again. Oh, there it is. I know what you must be thinking. How comical. But it's not true. I'm not the murderer. What do you mean, the murderer? Did somebody kill someone? Just happened, boys. All right, what about you again? Still a rock. Nothing's changed there. Be on your way now. Okay, then. Uh, fine by me. Yeah, you can see the huge Lutra right there. All the way over there. Okay, so in that case, is there... These guys, they want to talk? Okay, they've got basically nothing to say. I don't think there's, they've got anything to say. I'm not going to do anything with them. Um, I don't feel like they... It'd be a waste of time, boys. What about uh, this tulip right here? What is it doing here? The spark. There's dark places out there, but don't be afraid. Just keep moving forward. Sure, there might be monsters, but beautiful things can grow in the dark too. That is true. That is true, but, uh, you know, it can't convince me enough about that one. Okay, what about you? Uh, no matter where I go, I always feel so exposed. I wish I had a little space I could fit into ca uh, uh, in, in case I got scared, but it's so hard to find the right one. Well, there is a shrimp out there with a bauro uh, you might like. Oh, really? Did you talk to them? It'd be okay if I asked to stay with them? Yeah, they're looking for someone to help find food in exchange for bauro space, actually. Okay, that sounds promising. I'll go find them. Alright, then. There we go. I helped out the fish, boys. Oh, there it is. No, there it is. I see it, boys. Last portal right here. We're about to finish the game, boys. Well done. I gotta find it. There it is. There's the document. It's uh, Era 2 Section 1 Oversight. The creator's solution for society is ill is simple, but put laws into place and enforce them vigorously. Plans are made to monitor the mortals more closely and deliver quick, severe punishments for any transgressions. I mentioned this will come at a sacrifice of day-to-day -day comfort and happiness for the mortals. The creator doesn't seem to mind. Well, the creator seems like a jackass, boys. An asshole, to be honest. I don't know who he is or who he was. Not, it must have not been a, too good of a person, though. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and uh, interact interact with uh, with Lutra in the next video. That is, so we're gonna interact with him in the next video. Also, um, after interacting with him, boys, we'll go directly talk with the snake and see if he can make us finally the crown and stuff. So remember to leave a like and subscribe to enjoy. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.